first of all, we reject the very term terrorism. Uh, again, it is a propaganda word. It's a loaded word. Now, we want the British to get out. And, uh, as you know, there is an armed struggle being pursued in the occupied part of Ireland uh, towards that end. There was a document captured by the Irish Republican Army, the document 37, which was written by General Glover, a confidential document for submission to the cabinet in London. And in it, he outlined uh, a situation whereby the uh, forces of the Crown could not militarily defeat the urban guerrillas. Glover asserted that the name-calling of the IRA as thugs and mindless people and so forth was completely wrong. He pointed out that the IRA was made up of dedicated people and that moral strength, you know, can more than offset the material superiority of the conventional army. When we look at, say, over the last 12 months, the British army have, su have suffered a far higher casualty rate than they have had suffered in the preceding two years. It's a question of a strike and disappear quickly and strike again. In the border areas, uh, you have a situation where it's rural country and operations can be planned over a longer period uh, a guerrilla force can wait until the enemy turns up and uh, if conditions are suitable, hit the enemy and then disengage. The soldiers believe that a large portion of the community is intimidated by the IRA. The IRA does not intimidate uh, people as such. Uh, no guerrilla force can succeed uh, by intimidate, intimidating the people upon whom it relies for support. The support must be given freely of its own accord. And the fact that the IRA has you know, sustained a war for 10 years surely proves that the people's support has been forthcoming. Where it comes to potential informers or informers, yes, they are intimidated. If in the case of informers, they are executed. And that has been done. Do you feel there is a moral question involved in the IRA's uh, guerrilla acts? Uh, one must be honest and admit that some of the actions carried out by the IRA were hard to justify. One can explain them. One can explain that warnings were not received in time with the result that civilians lost their lives when bombs exploded. One can explain that in some cases civilians were mistaken for military personnel. But one does not attempt to justify such things. As far as the IRA is concerned, there is no moral question. We are quite clear as to the, the uh, morality of the struggle we wage. And we, as a people, have never renounced our claim to full freedom and sovereignty.